Yo, what's up, everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson, and in today's Fix of Entertainment news, John Wick 5 might be happening, and we'll tell you all about it. Now, Prime Video has some words for Netflix and its password-sharing crackdown, plus the CW's Arrowverse is finally over. Yeah, we're breaking it all down on today's Fix. Let's drop it. <laughs> While it might seem unbelievable given the events of the fourth movie, John Wick 5 is reportedly in early development, according to Lionsgate. Now, during an earnings call, its motion picture chairman, Joe Drake, revealed more of the plans the company has for the John Wick series. Quote, what is official is that, as you know, Ballerina is the first spinoff that comes out next year. We're in development on three others, including John Wick 5 and including television series. And so we're building out the world. And when that fifth movie comes, it will be organic. We'll be organically grown out of how we're starting to tell those stories. But you can rely on a regular cadence of John Wick. Ooh, so it sounds like we'll be getting more regular entries in the John Wick franchise outside of the blockbuster movies on the big screen. Now, as the chairman stated in the earnings call, we can expect the spin-off movie Ballerina sometime next year with the Continental series slated to release on Peacock later this fall. Now, as for a John Wick 5 movie, uh, the question a lot of fans might have is where in the franchise's timeline will it take place like will it follow immediately after the fourth movie like it might be kind of hard to do so given the current state of the titular hero but that doesn't mean it's impossible now we could also you know maybe get like a prequel of sorts but as of right now this is all speculation on my part now the fact of the matter is there's another john wick movie the studio has planned and outside of that, there's even talks of a video game. Yeah. Uh, in the same earnings call, the chairman went on to say, quote, we're now moving across the franchise, not just in the AAA video game space, but looking at what the regular cadence of spinoffs, television really growing that universe so that there is a steady cadence of a franchise that there's clear appetite by the audience. Yeah, we are definitely hungry for more John Wick. This is really exciting to hear. Not only a AAA video game is in the works or on the way at some point, but we'll be receiving more theatrical spinoffs and television shows around and within the John Wick universe. Again, it's good to see John Wick fans will have a lot to chew on in the coming years regarding John Wick lore. Now it looks like, you know, this is only the beginning for the growing franchise. Now, while that whole John Wick movie and TV conversation might be the beginning of one franchise, the CW has brought one of its very own to an end with the series finale of The Flash series. Now, with the end of The Flash on the CW, so comes to an end the last remaining series in the Arrowverse. Now, the CW might still have Superman and Lois, Gotham Knights, but those two shows exist in a different continuity than the Arrowverse. But, you know, if you want to get technical, they're still within the extended universe or the multiverse. Anyways, the series starred Grant Gustin as The Flash in its nine season run on the CW, and it's seen a slew of DC superheroes making a return in the show's final hours. Now, with The Flash now running off into the sunset, the question that remains is what will happen to the Gotham Knights series and Superman and Lois? Uh, they'll inevitably, you know, I don't know, get canceled at some point, unfortunately. It just seems highly likely given the CW's track record. Ugh, come on now. The Arrowverse began way back when in 2012 with the introduction of the Green Arrow series, Arrow. Since then, we've gotten show after show added to the growing roster of soon to be canceled DC shows like Batwoman, Black Lightning, and Legends of Tomorrow, all sleeper hits that everyone was sleeping on because no one really watched them. Anyways, fortunately, we'll see what James Gunn and Peter Safran have planned for the DCU on the big screen and on Max in chapter one of their new vision for the DC on screen. And finally, with Netflix beginning to crack down on password sharing, Prime Video decided to throw a little shade with this cheeky tweet on its UK account. Now, the account even quote tweeted Netflix's 2017 tweet about how love is sharing a password comment. 
boy, oh boy, how times have changed for the streaming service. Now, Netflix sent out an email earlier this week to U.S. account holders letting us all know that our Netflix account is for us and only those that live in the same household as us. Then we're given like this option to either pay an additional $7.99 a month for those added accounts or move them to their very own membership plan and have your mom, your dad, your ex-girlfriend all pay for their own Netflix accounts. Although you probably should have kicked your ex off a long time ago. What are you doing? Seriously. Anyways, me personally, I'll be taking a very long look at this email over the weekend, the long weekend, thinking about it long and hard as to whether I should keep my Netflix account or cancel it. And honestly, it's really not going to take me too long to make a decision. Uh, no, no, not at all. The decision honestly isn't really that hard. How many times did I say hard in this damn long and hard in this script? Anyways, pause. Moving on, uh, what do you plan on doing with your Netflix account? The seven C's are vast and open, matey, if you get my drift. R matey, yes, yes, uh, this definitely might give birth to a lot of pirates. All right, and that was your Fix of Entertainment news for today. I'm Akeem Lewanson, and thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous episode. Download the IGN app on all your devices, and for everything else, stick with IGN.